welcome to Backstage Pass, stage two. Uh, on tour, you know, sometimes you struggle to sleep, you need to, you know, keep the room nice and dark. So I asked for a sleeping mask from the dock, and uh, I think something got lost in translation. I'm rooming with uh, Tufty here. You always got to keep one eye open, if you know what I mean. Right, so we're changing things up a bit today. Uh, we've got uh, Jonesy, he's got to be at the finish because we've got some new leading edge technology. Um, if you look on the, some of the bikes here from Simon Clark and Yatesy, uh, we've got some special secret cameras and Jonesy needs to get those chips at the start, at the finish before everyone else does. So uh, that's where he'll be today. But we've got Gero number two, uh, Andrew Guerin, Simon's brother, with us in the car and he's going to be uh, out there with the GoPro stick uh, shooting the fans. I'd prefer if people didn't set their ladder up on the road and then climb up onto the top of it. Just think about an exit strategy. The homemade grandstand? Yeah. Um, I, just, I just don't see where you're going from the top of your ladder with a camera. Um, when the bunch is boring down on you and you realise that you've put your ladder in the middle of the road. So keep the ladders to... Uh, any, if you look down and you're on asphalt, you're in our office. Swino, what do you reckon of the kit, mate? Uh, I really like it, man. Uh, they uh, kept it really simple, which uh, I'm a big fan of. Hey, uh, Gero, how'd the media scrum go, mate? You get some good questions. Oh, some ripper questions, mate. I think about it at the same time, uh, same question uh, five times asked in a different way. So, well, here's uh, another good one. How are you going to go today? How am I going to go today? Is that the same question at a six times? Today. Um, and how yeah. did you pull up? Up here. A bit sore and sorry, actually. Um, last night I thought I'd sort of got a, got a, got away uh, relatively lightly from the crash, but uh, it was a different story when I went to climb out of bed this morning. So, yeah, not feeling too great, but hopefully I'll loosen up as the stage goes on and uh, I'll be right to do the final uh, full gas. Perfect. Hey, Derbo. Yeah. Nice What's with that sticker on your helmet, mate? I got a new helmet. I didn't have a black pen, so I just ripped the name tag off. What do you reckon? That's your number. It's a Tour de France oh, edition. Right. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Baggy. What's the go today, mate? Well, I get on my bike, and I feel uh, it's not a good start. I find I got a camera attached to it, so yeah, it looks so like I've got uh, extra weight on today. Extra pressure, given that the whole world will see your footage. No, I, I better not. Of your bum. I better not go too badly, should I? So. Uh, no, hopefully Gary will be right and we'll have a good crack today. Last, uh, on the last hill, uh, I went really, really deep. Uh, well, I was was quite happy to, to stay there with the with the big guys, but I uh, really left all on that climb there, so I was really dead on the just uh, staying on the wheel under the finish. Couldn't uh, 
lift up my arse anymore was just just grey so yeah I did what I could so I have to be happy with that place I did so yeah I was pretty sore I was pretty uh, pretty flat at the start there then I thought I was starting to come good through the middle of the stage and then the end when it sort of sped up I was uh, hurting again so it's pretty uh, pretty disappointing because I was really looking forward to the day stage, but um, yeah, i got a few days to try and recover now and uh, have a go look again next week. Well, that's a wrap at uh, stage two, Tour de France. A bloody great day of racing, actually. Uh, I think in all my years I've been at the Tour, the biggest crowd I've ever seen. Congratulations, Yorkshire. And um, it was great to be here. A bit hectic out there on the road, but uh, we quite didn't quite uh, put it through the post. But um, anyway, it was a, like a, all in all, it was a great day's racing. How yeah, was Steve Rose driving? Oh, good, mate. We're just going to have to probably limit the uh, the coffees to seven, I reckon, before each day. But besides that, good. No, it was, it was bloody hectic out there, wasn't it? It was. Uh, I've never seen like Steve. I've never seen a crowd like that. But uh, look, it's a little bit disappointing. Obviously, Gero is not at 100, percent but Michael Elberson, he really stepped up to the plate and did a really solid ride and was supported very well by the team, as you can see. And uh, yeah, tomorrow's another day and uh, very, very uh, special finish in London. And you sat in chewy, mate. Yeah, I've uh, sat in my own chewing gum as well. So I've got some shots of that.